Hey loves, it's Brianna. Welcome to a 2024 clothes declutter. We're going to KonMari my entire closet, all of my dressers. It's a change of season coming up, so I hope that this gives you the motivation to declutter your closet as well. Click that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe while you're watching today, but let's get to decluttering. This closet has just gotten <laughs> piles of stuff and just needs a good declutter too much stuff way too much stuff everything is just in need of good declutter organization okay so if you are getting started on a cause declutter and you're like i don't know what to do where should i be starting on this just take everything out of the closet and then you're gonna go through piece by piece with me the stuff that you're only truly ever going to wear again. And that's the only stuff we're gonna put back in the closet. So let's clear out the closet. You might be wondering, do I have to clear out my entire closet? If you're in a hurry, I would say no, but if you want to do a really thorough job, I think the best way to go about this is seeing that fresh blank slate and just, it's that feeling of you get a fresh start because we all deserve a fresh start. Anyone else's dog do this? She always just lays in all of my clothes on the floor. Hi, sweetie. Aw. If you're new to my channel or new to this decluttering series, hey, my name is Brianna. I'm a mom of three, and two years ago, I got divorced. And ever since then, I've been trying to figure out this new chapter and went through some serious heartbreak and a serious toll on my mental health. So I decided right around my birthday in December, enough is enough. My kids deserve better, I deserve better. So I started working on my physical health first. I worked out every single day, I changed up my diet, I focused on protein and whole foods, really cut out junk food and carbs. And after six months of doing that, I've never felt healthier. But there was still something mentally that was bothering me. So this summer, I decided I wanted to focus on my physical space because it was creating such a mental block for me. There's so much stuff and clutter that I knew we did not need in our home. So room by room, closet by closet, drawer by drawer, I've been purging all the stuff that we don't need. I donate the stuff that's still good, toss the stuff that's trash, and I've been reorganizing my home so that it's more functional. And I'm telling you, my life has changed for the better in so many ways over this past month since I started this decluttering journey. So if you're looking for your sign to start decluttering and have a better life, this is it. It's never too late to live the life that you've been dreaming of and become a better version of yourself. Hi, Kailua. <laughs> How are you today, pretty girl? Came downstairs because I was thirsty. She's just chilling up here by the sink, huh? And I'm using the Sweet Citrus Agave Multi-Surface Cleaner. This is the perfect year-round cleaning scent but I really like it for in the closet because it's just so sweet and citrusy and makes it smell so nice and clean in here.
Okay, so everything <laughs> at Goalie is cleaned out of the closet. She's probably like, are you moving? What are you doing? It's all cleaned out. So we have a fresh slate. And now comes the time to declutter and just only put back what I truly love and I'm going to wear again. Got to, quite a declutter ahead of us. How'd you do? I'm not broken. Not going to lie, this is really overwhelming seeing this pile on my bed. <laughs> As a mom of three kids with a ton of activities and lots of back to school stuff going on at the moment, a lot of times I can't do these declutters until the kids are in bed. So it was late. But it was pretty motivating to be like, you better declutter all this stuff so you can lay in your bed tonight. <laughs> but you've just got to get started, really is the point here. And I swear, once you've started, you get on a roll and it is so much easier to finish. You can do this, I promise you. Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say I was broken? Okay, I'm already like, am I keeping too much? I don't know, I don't know. So the method to my madness here was that if I hadn't worn it in a year, get rid of it. Unless it was something sentimental or I knew I'm going to use it for something coming up. I've also looked at how the clothes were wearing. Like if something was worn out or pilling and looked overused, I purged it. One thing I wish I'd done in my original declutter, which you'll see later in this video because it ended up taking a few days, spoiler alert, was that I should have done a better job sorting out the stuff that I was donating versus there was still some really great quality stuff that I could list on Poshmark or try to sell at a resale shop because of what brand it is. And that would have saved me a little bit of time then in this. But really I was just focused on what I was putting back into my closet and what I wasn't but I was able to clear off the bed at least before I went to sleep that night. <laughs> I was definitely a blade though. I feel like I'm not a good declutterer. Even though, I don't, like look at the pile, like there's such a big pile of stuff that I'm getting rid of, but I feel like when I'm putting it back, I'm like, it. it's just, it's like full again. I don't know. So this is the pile. It's gonna get donated, or I might list some of the stuff on Poshmark or you know, one of those sites. I mean, all these hangers had clothes on them, and now they no longer do. I'm making progress. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't look like it, but I know I'm making progress. Just, ugh. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more. I need you here. More than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah. Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that 
it's over. Yeah. Here's how it's going. Bottoms, neutral, white, tans in this corner, black in this corner. I have some stuff I want to keep for like special occasions back there. And then this is kind of like the fall sweater, jean jacket area. And then this is just all the colorful tops. I really feel like I could declutter this more. I was just hanging on to some stuff though since we're about to get into fall. I was like, oh, I might want to wear this in the fall. But I'm already wanting to pull more stuff out. And then these are kind of my favorite dresses or I don't know. Uh, longer dresses are here. <laughs> all of these hangers had clothes on them. And they're all in that corner there. So I feel really happy about that. But I'm gonna do shoes next. I feel like that will be the easiest thing to kind of knock these out and get them the ones at least that I'm keeping back on the shelf. Yeah. You never break, you never lie. You never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. Think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase. And everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Hey, the sneaker wall has been seriously decluttered. And this shoe wall has definitely been decluttered a little bit too, like a whole shelf is now emptied. All right, we are on day two of this massive closet declutter. And I've decided to change my approach a little bit. I think what I wanna do is figure out outfits, like seven comfy clothes outfits and for going out outfits and really just kind of figure out what those are and get rid of everything else because I think there's still just a little too much for where I want this to be. I feel like this is like I'm packing for a trip or something but hopefully it's gonna help just get rid of some stuff that I don't need. So day two, I also wish I had thought of this method on day one, but I do think it really helped me to clear out more of my summer wardrobe doing this trick. So try this trick, lay out your outfits and get rid of anything that isn't part of an outfit. It goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights and I... So I did find all these letters in there. I found Presley and I'm gonna put them on her new book bag for this year. Just kidding, <laughs> it's not gonna fit. So I think I might just do P. Maybe I'll do all her initials here. Okay, that's cute actually. I think I like the, just the initials on it, so. All right, all done. That's so cute. I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. This was just a bra bin that I had to sort through. So Fun stuff. <laughs> Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I Are you proud of myself? Because all these hangers used to have clothes on them. All these bins are empty. Don't mind my kids arguing downstairs. <laughs> We're about to go back to school in like two days. And Lord, they all need to be separated and go to school. Um, I just still need to go through all the drawers in here and then I'm gonna sort out what I'm taking to donate. Um, and then what things I am gonna either be like listing on my Poshmark or there's a couple of like shops around here I know that like buy 
certain brands of clothes. So I'm gonna kind of go through everything in that pile. It is quite a pile. <laughs> I realized I hadn't gone through the drawers before sorting out the donation versus Poshmark stuff, so I had to go through the drawers first. Loving me was all you tried when you were around. I've been told too many times now. Yeah, loving me was all you tried when you were around. I've been told too many times now. But somewhere. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen my washer broke about two weeks ago. So I had to order a new washer and dryer. <laughs> Adulting so fun. <laughs> but I wanted to wash all of my bedding, especially since I felt like I was throwing so much stuff on it during this declutter. So just took a little declutter break to make the bed. Can't you see that I just need to be by myself? I have told you many times now. But somewhere I hide, looking for a new star. Okay, I've been plugging away in here. I have an entire trash bag of stuff that was trash that I cleared out of all the dressers and everything. Hayden's in here too. <laughs> you want to say hi, hey? Hi. They can't see you. You have to get on the bed if you want to say hi. They can't see you right now. <laughs> They'd like to say hi to everybody. You want to say hi? Say hi, YouTube fam. Hi, YouTube fam. <laughs> oh, don't fall, don't fall. I don't want to drop you. Here, sit on your butt. Um, anyways, I'm going to get to that pile after I take this off to the trash. Oh, don't, don't hang on my back. Ah! <laughs> making so much progress. Seriously, it felt so good. If you're new, um, I lived in this home with my ex and it's hard because the kids love this house. They're such good friends. So many kids in the neighborhood and their school is here. But I also have some memories in this house. So doing this declutter and finding, you know, some old wedding mementos and notes and cards that my ex wrote me, not going to lie, I did film it because I was crying and it was really hard. Um, you know, you just never get married thinking that life is gonna end up like this. But I think it was really important to finally clear all that stuff out two years later. <laughs> it just kinda left it sitting there. But I wanted to create as fresh of a start as possible still being in this home, and this was so needed. All right, this is the bin I'm gonna take to the local consignment shop. These are all the bags that are going to be donated. And then over here, I've got some stuff I'm gonna bundle, I think, for Poshmark. I cannot even explain to you how getting all this stuff in bags and getting it out of here <laughs> felt so amazing. I just have a crazy feeling that after doing this declutter, there is going to be something big coming. It's like clearing out all this negative old energy that was in this space, just clearing it out to bring in something new and better. All right, we decluttered like a mother. This store is completely empty. This is all completely full, by the way. There is absolutely nothing left in this dresser. I'm just really, really proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. And in dresser number two, every single drawer was also full, 
Put some mementos up here, but empty. Oh, empty. <laughs> These drawers do have things in them. There's like tanks, teas, but the bottom two drawers, totally empty. I love it. <laughs> Bring in that new energy. And let's just continue. So this bedside table, nothing. Even though it's gross, like needs to get vacuumed real bad. Totally empty. And over here, this I totally decluttered. It was filled to the rim, would barely close. This, well, I don't know why it stopped focusing. It's some special mementos from my dad. I just like to keep those close to me. And then I put my books, like notebooks here, some pillowcases here, nice and orderly. Again, don't mind my little pile here for Poshmark, but cleared this drawer out and cleared this drawer out. Oh my gosh, all this cleared out energy, it just, it feels so good. Okay, so here's the before into the closet, the completed closet. Like, so much cleared space. I feel like it looks much more orderly now, all lined up. I have a lot still in the fall, winter wardrobe just to have on hand, but I did like minimize my summer outfits. Some hats up there. This actually has nothing in it, it's just a bunch of like empty bins. Um, two belts, a couple scarves. This is a little like vacation travel bin of things I need to pack with me. Sunglasses, this is also empty. It might not look like it, but this area was definitely decluttered. Here's the before from another angle. Coley wanted to check it out too. <laughs> and then let's turn and look. You can see the shoes. There's an entire shelf now decluttered. So prob probably could do a little more. But again, I'm going into fall. So there's a couple of boots. I just kind of want to see, do I wear them or do I not wear them? Jeans going from blue to black to white. And then I have my tans, my little white section over here, long sleeve, short sleeve and tanks. And then this jewelry section. This took me a while actually, and it was really hard to film it properly just doing it in here, but I just sort of grouped, like this is more of like the boho vibe energy. This is some more of like the football and Taylor <laughs> friendship bracelets. This is more beachy jewelry. And I just hung necklaces here and I found, I'd gotten this a while ago, but a little earring holder there of some of my faves and ring holders there. And oops, each of the drawers, I just kind of made sure all the earrings were laid next to each other so that it's much more easier to kind of open this up. I also did some seasonals like Christmas is back there, winter. Halloween, New Year's Eve, but just made it so much nicer. And then I have some jewelry from very special people. So this little pearl necklace my Aunt Del gave me when I was really little. I kept it my whole life. And then this little charm is from my Grandma Savoka. So my dad's mom, she passed away when I was only a couple months old, but that was my something blue actually on my wedding day. I like pinned it in my hair, but it's like, I'm gonna display that. And then this is probably the most special thing that I have. Like, obviously, if my kids and pets were safe, I would run into the house to grab this if there was ever an emergency. But it's this little crystal box from Indian Princess Campouts, the very last one with my dad. And my dad wrote me just the sweetest note in the whole wide world. And one of the things he says in the notes is, a penny for your thoughts. And he made the penny be the year that I was born. Like, it's a 1987 lucky penny. And then the quarter, he said a quarter for the call. You can call me anytime, anywhere. I'll always be there for you. And I thought that was just the sweetest little thing. So I was like, I need to, instead of keep it hidden next to my bed, I said, I'm going to keep it out here so I can see it every day when I come in the closet and get ready. It's just a special little memento. But anyways, in these drawers, I just kind of organized shorts. And these are... Sort of the more like comfier pants, comfy casual pants. This is all Christmas pajamas. I just needed a special Christmas pajama drawer. 
in here, I have the sweats, sweat sets. Oops, Ugh, that door never closes fully. It's kind of driving me nuts. Um, here is my different workout sets. So I did all black on this side, colors on that side. Pajama drawer. And then I have all of my black tanks here, skirts, black long sleeves here, and then all of my special occasion stuff is back in that little corner nook. But, oh my gosh, I'm just so much happier being in this closet right now and seeing how much more clean. I can see the floor completely now too. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm so happy. I feel so much lighter. I feel so much better. Oh, I almost forgot. Little purse wall. I don't love it. I feel like there's probably a better way to do this, so give me suggestions, but I'm just working with what I got. I've got like my white ones up there, Tory Burch one there. These are kind of my more casual bags, and then I did a couple more like colorful bags there. And right here, I have like my brown bags. So I just realized that one fell into my laundry basket. But then, yeah, I put the laundry basket just on my suitcase rack right here. There we go. Thank you so much for watching this extreme closet declutter with me. If it motivated you to declutter, please let me know down in the comments. And stay tuned, we are not done decluttering my home quite yet. So subscribe, have those notifications turned on, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, loves. Let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing. But I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands touch.